hello guys today we will see how to solve this kind of questions quickly so what we want is n to the power 4 plus 1 divided by n plus 1 i want this thing to be integer okay so how do we solve these kind of questions quickly let's see it straight away see if i divide it by n plus 1 i will get something quotient over here plus some remainder over here divided by n plus 1 okay just like for example if i have to divide 6 by 4 how can i do it 1 plus 2 by 4 okay so this is the quotient plus this is remainder so this part is already the integer okay so i have to make this part to be the integer so i don't know remainder over here so my first task is to find the remainder how do i find the remainder just put the denominator is equal to 0 just put this thing is equal to 0 so what I will get n is equal to minus 1 when I get n is equal to minus 1 put that over here so minus 1 to the power 4 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 is the remainder over here okay so 2 I will get 2 so what now I have to look at the factors okay so so 2 is the remainder over here okay and this will be the integer when n plus 1 is a factor of 2 so what are the factors of 2 1 and 2 only there are only two factors of 2 so if n plus 1 is 1 okay if n plus 1 is 1 um, then n will be 0 okay so n will be 0 one positive uh, one value of n is 0 now since i have to look for now the question says how many integral values of n so uh, i have to look out for the negative values as well so i have put n plus 1 to be 1 now i have to put n plus 1 to be minus 1 so when i put n plus 1 to be minus 1 what i am saying just put n plus 1 to be 1 then put n plus 1 minus 1 in the next step put n plus 1 2 in in the next step put n plus 1 to be minus 2 just because uh, i have to uh, take care uh, of the question which says how many integral values of n so n will take when it is minus 1 n will take minus 2 when this is 2 this is 1 and this will be minus 3 so in this question n will take 4 values so answer is 4 to this question so basically we don't care about this part what we have to care is just the remainder find the remainder by equating the denominator by 0 put that value over here we got n is equal to minus 1 put n minus 1 over here and then uh, we get the remainder and just this part to be uh, the integer the remainder should get divided by this and this should be a factor of 2 so n plus 1 should be a factor of 2 factor of 2 is 1 and 2 so uh, 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 just because i have to find the integral values of n so let's look at the next question okay so the next question says how many positive integral values of n exist such that n plus 76 n plus 76 divided by n plus 4 is an integer okay so see the conventional kind of way how can we do this question is uh, just make n plus 4 in the numerator n plus 4 and this will become 1 plus 72 by n plus 4 so this is the conventional way where now i have to put the n plus 4 uh, to be a factor of 72 this is the conventional method so sometimes this kind of thing uh, this kind of manipulation don't strike us in the exam scenario this is one easy question but uh, there might be some cases where we don't know how to manipulate the numerator so that it got cancelled with denominator so in those cases what we can do is so how can we do this quickly this is something uh, integer plus this is remainder plus n plus 4 okay now put n plus 4 is equal to 0 n will be minus 4 if you put n is equal to minus 4 here then 76 minus 4 72 just write 72 over here now you have to look out for the factors of 72 means n plus 4 should be a factor of 72 only then this part will become the uh, integer okay now and uh, there are how can we write 72 we can write 72 to be 2 cube into 3 square so 4 3 is 12 so there are total 12 factors okay so total there are 12 factors of 72 okay 
now the first factor is 1 can i put n plus 4 is equal to 1 if i put n plus 4 is equal to 1 uh, then n will be minus 3 which is not the case because question says positive integral values of n similarly i can't put value n plus 4 is equal to 2 okay so i can't put n plus 4 1 can't put 2 can't put 3 and can't put 4 as well because if i put n plus 4 is equal to 4 then n will be 0 n will be 0 is uh, not required okay so out of the 12 factors i don't need these four factors so how many factors uh, will make this uh, part the integer 12 minus 4 which is 8 so 8 is the answer to this particular question okay i hope uh, you can understand what i am doing over here just quickly write the remainder and see out of the two there are total 12 remainders out of which four uh, i don't need these four so 12 minus 4 is 8 8 is the answer to this question let's see the next one so the next question says if p is a natural number for how many values of p is 3p plus 2 the whole square but 3p plus 8 is an integer okay so this is a simcat 10 question but the solution they provided is a little bit time consuming so let's see how we can do this quickly okay so 3p plus 2 3p plus 2 to the whole square divided by 3p plus 8 divided by 3p plus 8 okay again uh, just put the p uh, this is equal to 0 i will get p is equal to minus 8 by 3 if i get minus 8 by 3 put over here put minus 8 by 3 over here 3 minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6 to the square is 36 so we are getting 36 okay so we are getting 36 by 3p plus 8 now I have to look out for the factors of 36. So factors of 36 are 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 9, 9, then 12, then 18 and 36. Okay. Now look at carefully the question says P is a natural number. Okay. Unlike the previous questions where the N was an integer. So here the P is a natural number. So just look uh, how many of these factors are satisfying this. If I put 3p plus 8 to be 1, then uh, p is not a natural number. p is not coming out to be a natural number. If I put uh, 2, then uh, it is again not coming a natural number. So similarly, we have to check everything. If I put uh, denominator is equal to 36. So 36 minus 8 is uh, 28. p is 28 by 3. Again, not a natural number. So uh, it no factor of 36 is satisfying this where p is a natural number so answer to this question is zero okay so the other way other method of doing this question is the way the simcat uh, uh, has given the solution but that is a little time consuming so this method i guess the most suitable one to do this in the exam so the one thing that we need to keep in mind is uh, what is the p whether p is an integer p is a natural number p is a whole number what is p according to that i have to uh, look at the conditions how many factors can satisfy uh, if i put these factors over here how many of them can satisfy so answer to this question is zero so i hope you like this quick way of solving these kind of questions please stay tuned for more thank you